Congratulations are in order for Huntley. Huntley was crowned the winner of season 24 of The Voice on Tuesday night, marking coach Niall Horan's second win in a row. Huntley, you are the voice. Congratulations, host Carson Daly announced. He broke into tears and hugged the runner-up Ruby Lee. Then, Horan jumped on stage and gave him a big hug. During the show, Huntley performed Bob Dylan's Knockin' on Heaven's Door in a duet with Horan. The 33-year-old singer beat out Team Niles Mara Justine, Team Rebass Jackie Raw and Ruby Lee, and Team Legends Leela Ford. Huntley quickly caught the coach's attention with his four-chair turn audition of She Talks to Angels. Huntley, I was hearing. I don't know if you've ever heard of an English singer called Daniel Merriweather. There was another guy called James Morrison. I'm hearing this tone, like the Chris Stapleton thing, that's a tone that comes naturally, Horan, 30, said. I bet you were singing like that when you were 15. You sing your own way, you sing very direct and so much power and the control that you have. It's so beautiful to listen to. Coach Gwen Stefani added, your voice is just so automatic. You know exactly at what point you're going to be raspy and it's pure and honest. You sound like you've been singing forever. You're just comfortable. Never miss a story, sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. To help him choose, he brought his daughter six-year-old Stella on stage and she chose Horan to be his coach. Ahead of the finale, Huntley, who's from Fredericksburg, Virginia, opened up about all the love and support H has received throughout this journey on social media. This is insane. So blessed and so grateful for everybody that has believed in me on this journey, he wrote on Instagram. Even though someone will be crowned a winner, we've all just been trying to create moments of genuine artistry and the amount of support from all over has meant so much to all of us. He released his debut single Holden on in 2022.